Melvin Simmons with the challenge, bouncing back off the interception. It's really going to be a test for the young quarterback coming out right now because he hasn't been faced coming back on the field after committing a turnover. And now it's going to it's going to be very important to see how he settles himself. Will he go back to a short passing game or will he continue trying to throw it long? Interesting to see if he starts to run the football as he did last week. Four receivers right side. A little bit of pressure on. Delivers the ball high, incomplete. Was looking for Marcus Grant, the leading receiver in the South this year. And that one sailed a little high. One of the things that he's doing, Chris, he's only about five foot nine, and when you get the pass rush up in his face, he has a hard time seeing over the top, and that's why he's having a problem getting the ball on the line to his receivers, and you see a lot of loft in his pass. You're also seeing here, this is how Birmingham operates. No huddle, he'll call signals out of the shotgun formation, and here in San Antonio, they'll try and make as much noise as possible to disrupt the quarterback. Just dumps it off. Woodside brought it in, but couldn't maintain his feet. At the 37-yard line, he'll be at least three yards short of the first down. Looked like almost he was anticipating being hit when he made the reception, but when you're in the open field, Woodside, he has to keep his balance and pick up the first down. You can't fall down in open field with no one around you. Good look at the big chill, Freddie Childress. Look, look more like a freezer. <laughs> Looks listed at 6'4", 300.